K-State is also 7-0 and when Will McNair scores a double figures. So, who wants to start with questions? Mr. Fisher. Is it on, guys? Is it on? Arthur, I want to talk about the end of the first half. You scored the final 11 points for K-State. Did you sense that the team needed something and you step up, or did it just come naturally? I felt like it just came naturally. Uh, I'm trying to like focus on letting the game come to me. And so I was just seeing my spots where I could be aggressive. And then at the end of the half, uh, the three-pointer that I hit, that was a drawn up play. So I knew I had to shoot it at that point. But other than that, I was just within the flow of the game. Did you realize you had scored the final 11 of the half for the team? No, I hadn't. It seemed like it was a physical, physical game out there. What, what, what were your guys' impression, just, to, just the, of the physicality of the game? Uh, I think they get, uh, they get, did a great job coming into the game. I probably, I feel like they probably pride themselves on being physical, trying to out physical us, uh, and just going to get rebounds and stuff like that. And they did a good job of it. And then. Uh, guys had a lot of closer games in non-conference, maybe games that people thought you should have won by more, but still won. Are, are those paying off, you feel like, right now, the fact that you're winning close games in the league now? Oh, yeah, for sure. I feel like winning is hard on any level, especially in the Big 12. So, I mean, the ultimate goal is to get the win. It don't matter how it is. We, we love to win ugly and still learn from that, uh, from that win. Arthur, on that tip play when there was one second left on the shot clock, can you walk us through that play? Did you... I'm sure you guys practiced that, but was there something you saw that knew it would work, or you just that was the quickest play you have to get the ball in the air, or what? The tip play, you talking about when Cam scored at the end of the second half? Oh, when they lobbed it from the inbounds? Yeah, oh, no, yeah, that was for Cam. That was for Cam. Yeah. Nah, it's good, yeah. <laughs> he the man. <laughs> nah, but, nah, yeah, it's a play that we, you know, we practice, we go over, uh, you know, yeah, every now and then, and I realized I had a smaller defender, and I looked at Coach. The first thing I thought of was the play was called nose, and you know I tapped my nose, and he he agreed with it, so that's what we ran. But I also I want to thank you know God and my teammates for just you know having my back, cause you know I was out there, I was kind of losing my head a little bit, but they had my back you know through it all. So I just want to thank them for that. Cam is an integral part of this team, man. Um, we needed him down the end of the game, and you know you see who we closed with. So, Cam, uh, when you don't have it going like the way you wanted it to tonight, what do you have to tell yourself to kind of still stay in there and make the big buckets at the end? Uh, you know, I, I say a prayer. Uh, you know, I kept praying, you know, through it all. And, you know, God answered my prayers. And uh, he blessed me with some great teammates to keep my head on straight. Uh, I wanted to ask both Cam and Will. When it comes to Arthur, he's been on a pretty hot streak when it comes to shooting, making clutch shots for you guys. What's most impressed you about his play in that area? He do it every day in practice. <laughs> like we, there's nothing like we really surprise or like we see it every day in practice. Like just like the other day against the scout team, he was going crazy. So we knew he was going to have a, a great game coming into this game. Yeah, we don't run plays for, for yeah, no reason. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> And, and Arthur, what what is it about that stat that Tom just mentioned? When Will has a good game, the team seems to win. Why do you think that is? No, Will's a great player. You know what I'm saying? It's like he knows his role and he understands what he has to do when he comes in. And he's a great big body that we could have to put against bigger players and bigger uh, offensive players. But day in and day out, you know, Will's a senior that he does what he has to do to be on the court, and he's been a great leader for this team. And for him to come out here and do what he did tonight, I mean, it's just a tell sign of a great player. All right, watching you shoot six hours before the game, before the women's game, seemed like you were pretty intense out there. Were you, was there a sense of intensity about you today? Definitely. I mean, I feel like coming off a top 10 win, you know, teams often relax. And I just wanted to make sure, you know, I was locked in for this game because I knew what could happen, you know. And they came out there and they fought us hard. 
and I'm just glad that we pulled it out. Arthur, you had some turnovers in the first half, and then you had none in the second half, and the team had 12 in the first half, and then five in the second half. Was there a greater just consistency or focus on keeping the ball and protecting it? Yeah, no. Nah, uh, so the crazy thing is, I didn't know I had five until uh, I was running back on defense, and uh, Coach, Coach Tang was like, yo, you got like five turnovers. I was like, five? There's no way I got five. Because the way I was playing, I was like, I barely been like, really doing anything with a rock. And then he said, I had five. And I was like, man, I got to lock in. So that's what I try to do. For Arthur and Will, uh, Cam's gotten to play in these these two-tone uniform, uniforms before. This is the first time that you've, both of you guys have gotten to do it. Well, what's your impression of the, the different color shorts with the with the lavenders? I think we should do it more often. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. It's different. It's you mean like an AU feel. <laughs> Facts. Facts. It's definitely tough. <laughs> definitely tough. Anything else for these guys? Thank you, guys. Thank you. Have a good one.